Next we have Sandra Mendez Ruiz, the sister of Lance Corporal David A. Mendez Ruiz. Sandra. David A. Mendez Ruiz, Lance Corporal, U.S. Marine Corps. Lance Corporal David A. Mendez Ruiz, 20, died November 12, 2005, from an improvised explosive device during action against enemy forces in Almeria, Iraq. Mendez Ruiz was assigned to the 2nd Battalion, 7th Marine Regiment, 1st Marine Division, 1st Marine Expeditionary Force, but the unit was attached to the 2nd Marine Division, 2nd Marine Expeditionary Force. He was born in Guatemala, the youngest of nine children, and came to Cleveland with his family in 1991 when he was six years old. Mendez Ruiz entered the Marines after graduation from the Greater Cleveland Christian Academy in Middleburg Heights. He spent almost eight months in Iraq in 2004, returned home and broke his back during a snowboard accident. After recuperating, he left to return to Iraq for his second tour on the 4th of July. In early 2006, David was posthumously granted U.S. citizenship and in 2011, Ohio declared that portions of State Routes 42 and 3rd with Cuyahoga County be designated the Lance Corporal David Mendez Ruiz Memorial Highway. Lance Corporal Mendez Ruiz is interred at the Ohio Western Reserve National Cemetery. Thank you, Sandra. Lance Corporal David A. Mendez Ruiz. Next, we have Pamela Martin, the sister of Master Sergeant Joseph J. Andres, Jr. Pamela. Joseph J. Andres, Jr., Master Sergeant, U.S. Army. Master Sergeant Joseph J. Andres, Jr., 34, of Seven Hills, died in Balad, Iraq, on December 24, 2005, of injuries he had sustained earlier that day when he was attacked by enemy forces during combat operations. Andrus was assigned to the U.S. Army Headquarters Company, Special Operations Command, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. A 1989 graduate of Padua Franciscan High School, he had been expected home before the new year. Described as an adventurous sort, but responsible by his father, Andrus was on the honor roll for four years, played drums in the symphony orchestra, ran track, and wrestled earning a citizenship award in the latter sport. St. Conkill grade school classmates established the Joseph J. Andrus Memorial Scholarship Fund in his honor. Andrus went to the University of Cincinnati to study materials engineering, but left after two years to fulfill his dream of becoming the best of the best within the, the U.S. Army. He started as a medic in the Army in 1992 then worked as a medic and medical non-commissioned officer at Fort Bliss, Texas and Germany, eventually qualifying for Airborne, Special Forces and Ranger. His family would like us to reflect and remember why men like him serve this great country with such passion and conviction. Master Sergeant Andrus is interred at Arlington National Cemetery. Thank you, Pamela. Master Sergeant Joseph J. Andrus, Jr. Next, we have Staff Sergeant Tyler White, United States Air Force. Alicia Sabrina Good, Senior Airman, U.S. Air Force. Senior Airman Alicia S. Good, 23, of Broadview Heights, Ohio, died on February 17, 2006, when two CH-53 helicopters crashed into the Gulf of Aden northern Djibouti while on a training mission as part of the Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa. The task force falls under the U.S. Central Command. The command is also responsible for operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. Good was assigned to the 92nd Communications Squadron. It was her first deployment overseas. A four-year Air Force veteran, Good was a tactical radio operator aboard one of the helicopters that went down with eight Marines and two Air Force crew members. Good graduated from Brexville Broadview Heights High School in 2001 and joined the Air Force that fall. Good was a single mom with a two-year-old daughter, Tabitha. Good's twin sister, Ashley, said that Alicia was especially devoted to her daughter, Tabitha, 
is she wanted to grow up in a world that was safe and a world that was free. Senior Airman Good is interred at Seveville Cemetery, Dixon, California. Senior Airman Alicia S. Good. Next, I introduce uh, Senior Chief Petty Officer Kerry Jones, United States Navy. Charles M. King, First Sergeant, U.S. Army. First Sergeant Charles M. King, age 48, assigned to the 1st Battalion, 67th Armored Regiment, 2nd Brigade, 4th Infantry Division, was among three service members killed October 14, 2006, when a roadside bomb exploded near the armored vehicle. King was the senior officer in a convoy on a resupply mission when the vehicle was hit near Baghdad, Iraq. First Sergeant King, who grew up in the Lee Miles neighborhood of Cleveland, joined the Army in 1987 and served in Iraq in 1990 and 91 as part of Operation Desert Storm. He attended Cuyahoga Community College and received the Associates of Arts degree from Chamberlain Junior College in Boston and also attended the Art Institute of Chicago. King and his fiance, Dana Kennedy, who lives in New York, have a six-month-old son, Jordan Kennedy King, whom King saw for the first time in September 2006. He also has a daughter, Christina, 15, of Keelan, Texas. He wrote a 200-page journal to the baby while he was in Iraq, telling him everything he thought he would need to know to grow up. Kennedy said he started the journal with a letter to me saying, this is the letter every soldier should write. And he ended it with a letter to his son saying, I will do my best to make you and your mother proud. First Sergeant King is interred at Evergreen Cemetery. First Sergeant Charles M. King. Next is Sergeant Timothy Stuman, United States Marine Corps. Michael M. Kashkush, Sergeant, United States Marine Corps. Sergeant Michael McLaren Kashkush, 24, of Chagrin Falls, died January 23, 2007, 10 days after arriving in Iraq of wounds received while conducting combat operations in Al Anbar Province. A 2001 graduate of Chagrin Falls High School, he tried college here and in Texas, then told his dad college wasn't for him. His father, Marwan Kashkush, Recalled, recalled his son saying that he had always admired the Marines and he needed their discipline. Kashkush wanted his son to finish college first, then join up and become an officer. I've got to be a grunt first, he told his father. He enlisted in 2003, made sergeant by mid-2005, and learned Arabic at the Defense Language School in California, where he was a counterintelligence specialist, the 3rd Intelligence Battalion, 3rd Marine Expeditionary Force. In honor of Sergeant Kashkush, the Chagrin Falls Post Office was renamed in August 2008. Sergeant Kashkus is interred at Evergreen Hill Cemetery. Sergeant Michael M. Kashkush. Next we have the Reverend Anthony Wiggins, the father of Staff Sergeant Michael Joseph Wiggins. Michael J. Wiggins, Staff Sergeant, U.S. Army. Staff Sergeant Michael J. Wiggins, 24, died on January 23, 2007, in Balad, about 60 miles north of Baghdad, Iraq. Wiggins was assigned to the 79th Explosive Ordnance Disposal Battalion. He went to Iraq as an ammunition specialist on October 29, 2006, after being stationed in Kuwait in 2004. A 1998 graduate of Shaw High School, Michael was a standout on the Shaw High cross country team and a member of the school's reserve officer training corps. Although he excelled academically at Shaw High, he chose the Army over college scholarship offers and entered as a private first class due to his ROTC experience. Wiggins served as a junior deacon and member of the choir at the Friends Fellowship Bible Church. Through the church, the Staff Sergeant Michael J. Wiggins Scholarship Fund was established to aid high school graduates from the church to go to college. At the funeral service, Wiggins' father, myself, utilized his only son and well, I wish to God I could have died in your place. Michael Wiggins is interred at Lakeview Cemetery. God bless you all. 
Thank you, Reverend. Staff Sergeant Michael J. Wiggins. Next we have Sergeant Elias Bo Diaz, Cleveland Police Department, and a veteran of the United States Marine Corps. Daniel R. Sherry, Lance Corporal, United States Marine Corps. Joining the Marines was a lifelong dream of Lance Corporal Daniel R. Sherry. 20, who became a Marine after graduating from high school in 2005. Sherry died April 16, 2007, from a non-hostile accident in El Anbar Province, Western Iraq. He was assigned to the 1st Battalion, 2nd Marine Regiment, 2nd Marine Division, 2nd Marine Expeditionary Force. Before joining the Marines, Sherry graduated from the Fire Training Academy at Cuyahoga Community College. Service in the Marines was his lifelong dream. The family stated, in his short tenure with the Marines, he received two promotions and, looked up, and was looked up to by members of his battalion. A star football at, uh, player at Rocky River High School, he won the school's Heart of a Teammate Award which recognizes excellence on the field and respect from coaches and players. More than 1,000 people attended Sherry's funeral mass where he was utilized as a young man, always coming to the defense of others. Lance Corporal Sherry is interned at Lakewood Park Cemetery. Lance Corporal Daniel R. Sherry. Next we have Joseph Meisner. United States Army Vietnam veteran. Daniel Nagami, PFC, U.S. Army. PFC Daniel Nagami was described as fearless and a patriotic soldier who never hesitated risking his life for his fellow soldiers. Nagami had a love for Iraqi children. He would give them candy and toys and help them build their schools. The 25-year-old Agami, who was born in Cleveland, grew up in Broward County, Florida. He was killed with four other soldiers in Baghdad on June 21, 2007, when their Humvee vehicle was hit by an improvised explosive device. Agami had been in Iraq for a year and was assigned to the 1st Battalion 26th Infantry Regiment, 1st Infantry Division. About a hundred people attended a memorial service for him at the Waxman Chabad Center in Beechwood, even though he and his family had been living in Florida for 20 years. Agami's kindness, generosity, humor, and selflessness made him everyone's best friend. More than 1,000 people attended Agami's funeral in Fort Lauderdale. His family was overwhelmed by this outpouring of support. Not long before his death, Agami had re-enlisted for four more years in the Army, and he was proud to have been chosen to be the new U.S. poster boy or model for upcoming Army marketing materials. PFC Agami is interred in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. PFC Daniel Agami. Next is Tom Croth, General Manager of Key Center. And Tom uh, is here. We've asked him to read because he and his security forces, his engineers at Key Center, uh, are integral to taking care of this plaza and to watching over it 24-7. Uh, Tom. David A. Hearings, Sergeant First Class, U.S. Army. Sergeant First Class David A. Hearings joined the U.S. Army in 1993 because he had a passion for it. On August 24, 2007, SFC Herring 36 died near Tikrit, Iraq, the wound sustained in an improvised explosion device detonated near his unit during combat operations. He was assigned to the 1st Battalion, 
505th uh, Parachute Infantry Regiment, 3rd Brigade Compact Team, the 82nd Airborne Division, SFC Herrings, had served in Iraq for one year. He had been scheduled to return to the United States in August, but in April he learned that his term was extended until November. He was born in Cleveland, lived in Parma, and his family moved to Tampa when he was 15. Herendez had communicated with his father once a week by phone or emails, and his spirits were always positive. He never spoke about his missions. He became a paratrooper and also worked as a mechanic for the Army. He had served six weeks previously in Afghanistan during the elections and two years in South Korea. His father, Ryan Herrings, said he loved the military and he loved what he did. Herrings and his wife, Shannon, have a son, Logan, five, and a stepdaughter, Cheyenne, nine, of Fayetteville, North Carolina. Sergeant First Class Herrings is interred in Arlington National Cemetery. Sergeant First Class David A. Harrington. Next we have uh, Major Leon Melton, United States Army. Michael L. Green, Major, United States Army. Major Michael L. Green, age 36, of Chagrin Falls, died January the 7th, 2008, in Langharju, Afghanistan, when the vehicle he was riding in struck a roadside bomb. He was born April the 6th, 1971, in Pascagoula, Mississippi, and was raised in Gaudia. He graduated from Fairmont State College in Fairmont, West Virginia, where he was a member of the ROTC. Upon graduation, he attended the U.S. Army, fulfilling a lifelong dream of serving in the armed forces. At the time of his death, Major Green was a member of the Army Special Forces Command, assigned to headquarters, 5th Corps, Heidelberg, Germany. His parents said that Michael Green died doing what he loved best. Michael was military-minded from the time he was a young man. His mother said, he achieved what he wanted to do. She said that her son, who spent some summers working at Cedar Point Amusement Park in Sandusky, felt guilty about training young soldiers to fight, but not going to the battlefields himself. She said he was happy when he was deployed to Afghanistan. Before his parents were divorced, the family lived in Chagrin Falls until around 1998. His mother last spoke to him at Christmas. She remembered him saying the same thing he always told her, Mom, don't worry. In 2009, a two-mile section of U.S. Highway 90 in Gaudier, Mississippi was named in honor of Major Green. Major Green is interred at the Biloxi National Cemetery. Major Michael L. Green. Next we have Terry Davis, the mother of Corporal Brad A. Davis. Brad A. Davis, Corporal U.S. Army. My son, Corporal Brad A. Davis, 21, of Garfield Heights, died April 22nd, 209, near Baghdad, Iraq, of wounds sustained when an improvised explosive device detonated near his vehicle. He was, he was hit while riding as a gunner in the lead vehicle of a convoy while serving his second assignment in Iraq. He was assigned to the 82nd Airborne 82nd Brigade Support Battalion, 3rd Brigade Combat Team, 82nd Airborne Division. Brad served in the Army's F Company of the 2nd Battalion, 505th Parachute Infantry Regiment. The elite unit of the 82nd Airborne Division was stationed near Baghdad and provided security during provincial elections in January of 2009. Brad had been scheduled to come home for a two-week leave in June of 2009. As he did on other leaves, he, we, we expected he would be organizing cornhole and sports tournaments with large groups of high school and military friends. Brad graduated in 2006 from Garfield Heights High School where he played safety and receiver on the football team. He had seen a lot on his first deployment and was looking forward to leaving the military when his current one-year tour in Iraq would have ended in December of 2009. He planned to go back to school for a career in law enforcement. My son is interred at All Saints Cemetery in Northfield, Ohio. Thank you, Terry. Corporal Brad A. Davis. Next we have Bill Willoughby, 
a Vietnam veteran of the United States Army. Marco M. Sampson, Specialist, United States Army. Specialist Marco M. Sampson died on May 31st, 2009 in Tikrit, Iraq, while preparing to lead a convoy uh, through Tikrit. Sampson was born in Parma and lived briefly in Columbus, Ohio. Sampson was assigned to the 277th Aviation Support Battalion, 10th Combat Aviation Brigade, 10th Mountain Division. Sampson lived near Ohio State when he enlisted in March 2007. He was on his first deployment to Iraq, arriving in country in October 2008. Specialist Sampson is interred in Holy Cross Cemetery. Marco M. Sampson, Specialist U.S. Army. Specialist Marco M. Sampson. Next, we have Grace Barnes Philo, the mother of Major Rocco Barton Barnes. Grace. Rocco M. Barnes, Major, U.S. Army. Major Rocco M. Barnes died June 4th, 2009. In Afghanistan, from injuries suffered during operations, Barnes, 51, was born in Cleveland and graduated from North Olmsted High School. Enlisting in the Army in 1978, where Barnes subsequently earned his Green Beret, he transferred to the Army Reserve, and in 1982, Sergeant First Class Barnes received his commission as a second lieutenant. At his death, Barnes lived in Los Angeles and served in the National California Army National Guard, assigned as an individual augmentee to the 3rd Marine Regiment, 3rd Marine Division, 3rd Marine Expeditionary Force, Special Forces Qualified. Barnes fought in Iraq twice and Afghanistan twice. The Marines asked for Barnes by name to join them on what proved to be his last deployment. Major Barnes served as the commander of a U.S. Army Special Forces HALO detachment. In civilian life, he was a producer and principal at Fishman Productions in Los Angeles. Also, he was director at the World Protection Group in Beverly Hills, where he was a bodyguard to the rich and famous. Lorraine Road, running through North Olmsted, is named the Major Rocco Barnes Memorial Highway. Major Barnes is interred at Holy Cross Cemetery. Thank you, Brock. Thank you, Grace. Major Rocco Martin Barnes. Next we have Ray Sykes, a United States Army veteran of the Vietnam War. Jason J. Fabrizi, Sergeant, First Class, U.S. Army. Sergeant First Class Jason J. Fabrizi, 29, was on his fourth tour of war-torn countries when his convoy was attacked July 14, 2009, in Connor Province, Afghanistan, by rocket grenades and small arms fire. He was the father of three with a fourth child on the way. Fabrizi was born in Cleveland and moved to Florida at age 10 with his parents, both Marines. His mother and father 
were both in the Marine Corps for two decades, and several other relatives served in the armed services. Fabrizi enlisted shortly after graduating from Armwood High School in Florida in 1998. He served in the 3rd Squadron, 65th Cavalry Regiment, 4th Brigade Combat Team of the 4th Infantry Division. He toured Iraq three times, having been wounded on a previous tour of duty. Fabrizi married Colorado schoolteacher Christy Cool, and they have a two-year-old son, Lane, and a daughter, Reagan, born after her father was killed in action. Fabrizi also, also has two children, Jason and Tyler, from a previous marriage. Jason and Tyler, who live with their mother in Florida, also lost their army stepfather when he died in Iraq in 2007. Sergeant First Class Fabrizi is interred at Riverside Cemetery. Sergeant First Class Jason J. Fabrizi. Next, Ron Schrockenwald, a U.S. Army veteran of the Vietnam War. Richard A. Walters, Jr., Sergeant United States Army. Sergeant Richard Allen Walters, Jr., 41, died on August 10, 2009, on his way toward hospital duty in Iraq. He was assigned to the 14th Combat Support Hospital. He spent his first five years in Parma, Ohio. This is where he met his wife and their 11-year-old daughter resided, Rachel. We were living so they could live near their relatives. And she was also doing that December of a baby that was going to be called Piper. He was a family man, a devoted father, said his brother Greg. His girls were his life. The son of a naval technician, he became a member of the Naval Reserves at the age of 17 and a regular from age 20 to 30. He had a couple of close calls as a medic tinning Marines in Desert Storm. In 2006, too old to rejoin the Navy, he enlisted in the Army. He became a licensed practical nurse and hoped to become a physician's assistant. Prior to his assignment to Iraq, he served in the intensive care ward at Walter Reed Army Medical Hospital in Washington, D.C., to need our wounded soldiers. Sergeant Richard A. Walters, Jr. Next we have Bob Waters, the stepfather of Master Sergeant Adam F. Benjamin. Adam F. Benjamin, Master Sergeant, United States Marine Corps. Master Sergeant Adam F. Benjamin, 34 of Garfield Heights, was killed in combat in Helmand Province, Afghanistan, August 18, 2009. Benjamin enlisted in the Marines after graduating from Garfield Heights High School in 1993. He was promoted to gunnery sergeant in 2006. The explosive ordnance disposal technician with the 8th Engineering Support Battalion did tours in Iraq in 2007, 2008, and returned for a second tour of combat in Afghanistan in July 2009. Even as a youngster, Adam knew he wanted to be a Marine. In his MySpace profile, Master Sergeant Benjamin wrote, Most people don't understand why we do what we do. I love my job. Yes, I said I love my job. How many of you can say that you are right where you want to be at this time in your life? I know I can. Four years after the death of Benjamin, he was honored with a 70,000 square foot barracks in the Marine Corps base of Quantico, Virginia. It was dedicated in his name. The barracks was called one of the most technologically and ecologically advanced barracks in the Marine Corps. Attending the ribbon cutting ceremony in October of 2013 was his mother Judy Waters and his father Frank Benjamin. Master Sergeant Benjamin is laid to rest at Arlington National Cemetery. Thank you, Bob. Master Sergeant Adam F. Benjamin. Next we have Bill Everts, the father of Major Michael S. Everts. Bill. Michael Sale Everts, Major, United States Army. Major Everts, a 17-year member of the U.S. Army Reserve, 
lost his life in Kikrit, Iraq, on January 17, 2011. He had served as a signal and communications officer with the 256th Combat Support Hospital out of Twinsburg. This was his second overseas deployment. In the first tour in 2007, he served as an infantry training officer assigned to a unit of the Iraqi Second Army. Mike grew up in Moreland Hills, he graduated from university school where he played varsity football and wrestling. He was a graduate of St. Lawrence University where he was an honor student and majored in science. He completed the ROTC program while competing on the school's football and wrestling varsity teams. In civilian life, Mike was a pharmaceutical sales specialist for Shearing Plow Pharmaceuticals. He was greatly admired and a much loved friend. Mike Everts leaves his wife Monique and two young sons, Zachary and Luke. His parents, uh, myself and Marilyn, live in Moreland Hills, and his brother and sister live out of state. His aunts and uncles and cousins, who, many of whom are here today, uh, also live in the area and make good company for us. Hardly a day goes by when we don't talk about him. As a uh, final comment I had was that Mike lives and he continues to live in our hearts and minds. Thank you, Bill. Major Michael S. Everts. Next, we have Paula Kanshaw, the mother of Sergeant Dennis E. Kanshaw. Paula. My son, Dennis E. Kanshaw, Sergeant, United States Marine Corps. Dennis E. Kanshaw died Sunday, July 31st, 2011, on his second tour in Afghanistan. A Marine sergeant who had completed two tours in Iraq, Kanzler 26, died with two other Marines in Herat province. They were serving with the 2nd Marine Special Operations Battalion, United States Marine Corps Forces Special Operations Command. Sergeant Kanzler, the son of former Brexville Chief of Police Dennis A. Kanzler, joined the Marines shortly after graduating from the Brexford Bravi Heights High School in 2003. The terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001 were a major consideration in that decision. Cancer left Marines after serving in two Iraq deployments, but lasted only about six months in the civilian world. He said, there is nothing like being with the team. I am a Marine. I belong over there. It is what I do. It is who I am. He was the father of three-year-old Jack Ryan Kanzler. The city and county honored Kanzler in 2011 with the dedication of the Old Royalton Road Bridge over Chippewa Creek in his honor. In 2013, Route 82, Royalton and Chippewa Roads within the Brecksville were named after Kanzler. Sergeant Kanzler is interned at the Ohio Western Reserve National Cemetery. My son was a great Marine. Thank you. Thank you, Paula. Sergeant Dennis E. Kanzler. Angel L. Lopez, Specialist, United States Army. Specialist Angel L. Lopez, 27, of Parma, died October 5, 2013, in Zabul Province, Afghanistan, of wounds suffered when enemy forces attacked his unit with small arms fire. Lopez was assigned to the 201st Brigade Support Battalion, 3rd Infantry Brigade Combat Team, 1st Infantry Division. This was Lopez's first overseas deployment. A graduate of John Marshall High School, 
Lopez grew up in Cleveland. Lopez, who enlisted two years earlier, was scheduled to return home in 30 days. He is survived by his wife, Marie, and their two children, six-year-old Lydia and 15-month-old Antonio, in addition to a stepson, Isaiah Ramos. Maria Lopez said that he wanted to make the Army his career. I am so honored that I was loved by a hero. Lopez's parents, Veronica and Santos Pacheco, received the Ohio Military Medal of Distinction awarded for their son's service in May 2014. Lopez is Cuyahoga County's last casualty of the war in Afghanistan and Iraq. Specialist Lopez is interred at Ohio Western Reserve National Cemetery. And upon the conclusion of this reading, I ask for a moment of silence for all here and for the Goldstall family members that are here with us today. Thank you.